gonna be talking some more about leather cleaning. Now we wanted to show you how great our chemicalized leather cleaner and our leather serum works. So we went on the internet and picked up this used Dionese leather jacket. Now, if you know anything about motorcycle gear or high quality leather jackets, you know Dionese is the highest quality leather jacket you can get. Now this leather jacket's worth over $600. It has a lot of protection gear inside of it, but it's made out of a very high quality Italian leather. Now, if you have a dirty leather jacket, this is gonna be great for you because we're gonna clean it up using our chemicalized leather cleaner and our chemical guys leather serum. Now both of these are gonna make the jacket look really nice, clean it up and make it look good. Now I actually went on an internet auction site and hunted this down. It was a smoking deal because it was real dirty and the guy had it sitting in the closet for a few years. So we're gonna clean it up and remove all the dirt and all the stains off the jacket. Now right now the jacket actually looks very shiny and leather is not supposed to have this shiny appearance. It's actually supposed to be 100% matte. Now we're gonna go ahead and clean it up first using our Chemical Guys Leather Cleaner. Now the leather cleaner is 100% pH balanced and it actually has no color and no scent. So if you look at the bottom of the bottle, it's clear because it's not gonna stain and hurt the leather itself. Now this works on all types of leather. It works on sealed leather, it also works on natural leather, and it also works on pleather and synthetic leather as well. Now this jacket is actually a special type of leather which is designed with a coating to make it weatherproof so you can ride through the rain and you can ride through any type of weather and it won't hurt the leather itself. And the one thing that makes this jacket look bad is all of the white piping looks horrible. It has a lot of dirt, a lot of stains over the jacket. Even right at the top it has a lot of dirt and stains on the top. Now because of that we need to make sure that we clean the leather very very well and then afterwards we're going to protect it and condition it with our chemicalized leather serum. Now the leather serum is designed to give a natural sheen to the leather. It's gonna keep it a natural look, but it's gonna protect it and give it UVA and UVB protection. So that means I can take the jacket out, ride it on the bike, and it's not gonna look horrible or be damaged by the UV solar rays. So let's get started cleaning this leather and make it look great. The first thing I'm gonna to do to clean the leather is I'm gonna zip up the jacket. Now that way I keep any leather cleaner or conditioner outside of the jacket and I make sure that it looks the best. I'm also gonna button up the top so I can get the collar, okay? Now let's start with the white parts of the jacket. I'm gonna start with some microfiber towels and my chemicalized leather cleaner. I'm gonna turn on my leather cleaner and I'm gonna spray it and prime the bottle. Now you'll notice right here on the leather jacket there is white piping, and this white piping is 100% dirty right on this edge. The whole outside of the jacket is just filthy. Now the reason is because leather jackets are often exposed to the weather. People touch them, they get dirty, it happens. So we're going to clean it up. Now if you've been watching our YouTube channel, we often did uh, a leather chair. It was an expensive leather chair worth several thousand dollars. Now leather is often really expensive. This jacket is about an $800 Dionese jacket. Some jackets can be over a thousand dollars or several thousand dollars, so we want to make sure that the jacket looks its best. So let's start cleaning on this jacket right here as we go. So I'm going to first go ahead and take my uh, microfiber towel and I'm going to go ahead and saturate it with the Chemical Guys leather cleaner. I want to get it really wet. There we go. Now let's start cleaning the surface. Now notice this edge right here is very uh, black and stained. I'm gonna take my microfiber towel with the Chemical Guys Leather Cleaner and I'm gonna go ahead and scrub it away. Now I'm working it in gently into the leather to try and restore the original look. Now some of the stains are gonna be harder because there's creases in the natural leather skin and we wanna make sure it looks good. There we go, now you notice, look at our towel. Our towel is getting all the dirt and debris off the leather and it's taking it right onto the towel. But notice our white leather part is getting extremely white. Look at the white look that we've restored back to the leather. It looks amazing. Now if you wanna clean a lot of your leather, you can easily take the leather cleaner and spray it directly on the leather. But you want to make sure that you keep it cen centered in a nice area where you can control the spray and make sure you don't harm any of the leather surface. Now it's always good to test a small spot before you clean leather. I've already tested this leather to make sure that the leather cleaner is going to work great 
and not remove any type of color from the leather. Now look at that white leather accent. We're just making it look great. I'm gonna spray a few sprays right on there as well. And get scrubbing. Now you notice I'm not using any brush. I'm just using a microfiber towel and my own cleaning power of my hand to gently clean the jacket. Now, if this were a more inexpensive jacket, I'd probably be scrubbing a lot harder, but this is an expensive leather jacket. We don't want to hurt the leather surface itself. I'm gonna spray some more sprays on my microfiber towel. I'm gonna get scrubbing. The hardest part of this jacket is gonna be the white accent because that by far is the dirtiest of the jacket. You can always stick your hand inside the jacket. We're gonna unzip this and open inside. Stick your hand inside the jacket and that way you can put your palm on the other side and scrub the top. There we go. And we're gonna look at that white accent line. That accent line is looking a lot better even compared to the other side. You see this white accent line looks a lot better than this side. It looks crisp and rich itself. Now this leather, I'm gonna flip this leather jacket because we're gonna do some of the back before we do the rest. Now this leather jacket's very shiny and it's also perforated so we wanna make sure we don't harm the surface. So I'm gonna refold my microfiber towel. I'm gonna spray a few sprays on here and then a few sprays on the jacket. And then I'm gonna start cleaning the jacket with a microfiber towel. And then I'm gonna take off any body oils, any dirt, any nasty stuff on the jacket. Make sure we get a nice look. And you can even see on the jacket, we're getting a lot of dirt and debris that are coming off our microfiber towel and making it look its best. Now, this cleaning process that I'm using right here on this jacket works on leather boots, it works on leather shoes, it also works on couches, sofas, leather purses, leather bags, luggage. It works on all types of leather goods. And if you notice, after I'm done cleaning the leather on the back side, I can wipe with a microfiber towel. And you notice the leather looks more matte. It took off that shine. If your leather has shine to it, it has shine because it's actually stained or covered in body oil. Our body secretes this oil and whenever we touch it, Leather, it actually sticks to the leather and then has the shine to it. So if you have leather seats in your car where the leather seats are shiny and they're not looking original anymore, that's because your body oil from your pants, your legs, your arms, everything is saturated on top of the leather. But now even just a few wipes of the leather, the leather jacket now looks rich and original again. Okay, so I'm gonna flip off, we'll do the front. Spray my microfiber towel, get a few sprays on the front and then we'll start cleaning the leather. And you notice I'm just wiping in one direction and trying to wipe off all the dirt, but the Chemical Guys Leather Cleaner is actually powerful enough to help do the work for me, but even we're getting all that dirt right off the top and you see that nasty dirt and debris, that is what's making our leather look horrible. Here we go. Now once we have the area clean that we want clean, I'm gonna take my secondary dry microfiber towel and I'm gonna buff off any sheen and look at that natural look that we're getting. The leather is looking a lot more natural. Even we have an arm over here that's not clean, but then we have a start over there that is clean. And you notice the spot that we've cleaned is starting to look softer. It's starting to look a lot better and stay looking great. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sit right here and I'm gonna take a couple minutes to clean the whole jacket with our Chemical Eyes Leather Cleaner and then we're gonna go ahead and put some leather serum on the jacket to keep it looking great. So give me a few minutes, we're gonna make it looking good, get all the spots and all the tighter places. We'll follow along, we'll get it done, then we'll start with the next step.
So now we're gonna go ahead and get on to the conditioning and the protection of the jacket. Now I spent the last few minutes cleaning it with our chemicalized leather cleaner, and now the jacket does look awesome. You can see it doesn't have that nasty shine to it anymore. It looks original and matte, plus the white piping now stands out. That's the one thing that really made the seller sell the jacket. He said the white didn't look good anymore because it was dirty, and it made him buy a new jacket. But little did he know, our Chemical Guys products cleaned up the leather and made it look brand new. So now this jacket's ready for the conditioning. Now I'm not gonna use a traditional leather conditioner on this. I'm gonna use our Chemical Guys leather serum. Now a leather serum is a UV protection coating. And what it's gonna do is protect the leather, give it a natural look with no shine. It's gonna give it a natural sheen and it's gonna protect it from UVA and UVB solar rays. Now the UVB, UVA and UVB solar rays blocking agents inside of the leather serum is gonna make sure that my jacket stays black and looking good for longer without fading and discoloring. Now this jacket is not an actual uh, full leather jacket. It actually has perforations in the leather. So if you look really carefully on the leather, you'll notice all these little holes in the leather. Now this is to let air breathe through so it keeps you cool while riding a motorcycle. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna condition it, but I'm gonna do a special technique so my leather serum does not get caught up in the little perforations. So what I'm gonna first do is I'm gonna take a line or two lines of my leather serum and I'm gonna rub it into my applicator pad. I wanna make sure that my applicator pad is not have any excess of the leather serum on the applicator pad so I don't get it caught in the holes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the leather jacket and I'm gonna start rubbing in the leather serum. And as you notice, it doesn't get caught in the perforations because I pre-soaked my pad with the leather serum. Now you're probably seeing on camera that it goes on a little bit shiny, but that's because the excess is on top of the leather jacket and it's not absorbed into the natural leather. This is real Italian leather. It is not a fake leather or a synthetic leather, it's all natural. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more leather serum to this. I'm gonna add one line. I'm gonna rub it into my pad. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the jacket and work it in. And this is the best way to work with perforated leather. So if you have a Mercedes Benz or a BMW that has perforated leather seats, you might be wondering, hey, how do I condition these seats? Easily do this method that I showed you right here. And you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and prime the pad first before you apply the leather serum. Remember, we'll go ahead and apply just a little bit to the pad, rub it in. Now go to spread. Now what's interesting about this jacket is the whole jacket is not perforated. Only some areas of the arms and the front of the jacket is perforated to allow the body to breathe. And this works on higher end leather jackets too, not just motorcycle jackets. So if you have uh, just a leather jacket, men's, women's leather jacket, this works great at that too, to keep it looking good and soft and conditioned. There we go. I'm going to flip, the, flip it over to the back. There we go, back side of the jacket. Prime my pad again. There we go. And I'm going to rub it in just like I did before. I'm rubbing it in so I don't get any fat blobs on my applicator pad. Now I'm rubbing in the serum into the jacket, little by little, I'm not using too much, I don't wanna overdo it. I wanna just make sure I get a nice even coat over the jacket. go. Now that our leather serum is all over the jacket, I'm going to go ahead and wipe off the excess 
So I'm gonna grab a brand new dry microfiber towel and I'm gonna buff off any excess. I'll start with the front. And just while I moved over to the back, the leather serum is soaked into the leather jacket and it makes it feel soft and supple. And that's what you want with your leather. You want it to feel soft and supple and fresh. Here we go. And we're only wiping off the excess because the leather serum is designed to absorb into the leather and make it feel soft and supple again. Make sure that you remove all bits from the leather jacket because you don't want to leave any spots that are full of serum. You want to make sure you get all the spots right off. We're just wiping off the excess. I'm going to flip it over. And buff it off the back. And you notice the technique that I used did not put any leather serum into the perforations. That means I don't have to clean out any little tiny holes and the jacket's gonna give a nice, even, smooth look. There we go, now let's flip it over. I'm gonna do the collar. And that's it. We are done, so let's check out the results. Let's look at this amazing leather jacket that we got done. Now you notice that our leather jacket looks great. The piping is completely white and fresh on both sides. That's what really made the jacket look bad when we got it. This is a used jacket. Somebody wore it for who knows how long. It shows its age, but now it looks like brand new. Even the back looks brand new. It looks fresh and it has that original leather scent because our Chemical Guys Leather Serum restores all the natural oils and conditioners into the leather and protects it with natural UVA and UVB blockers. So now our leather jacket looks great. It unzips real easy. It feels softer. That's the one thing I noticed. It feels softer, more flexible, and it's ready to ride. So if you guys have any more questions about our Chemical Guys leather conditioner and leather serum, be sure to check it out on our website, chemicalguys.com. Want to learn more about detailing? Subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter for all of our latest news on any type of detailing. Remember, always remember to have fun, stay clean, and keep on detailing.